So for today, we're gonna be looking at 801 and what she is offering. Nothing too crazy to talk about. If this is your first video, we basically just look at the shaders that she's offering and the armor set. I show you all of the armors for all the classes. So these videos are usually quick just because I wanna to get to the point and make other content. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I do appreciate it. Other than that, Vitrified Chronology. This is actually a pretty good shader. I actually do like this shader. I also have this helmet suit to show you the glow. There is a purple glow on this, but this is a brown color for the claws. So just be aware of that. Other than that, I do like the shader quite a bit. We have Cairo's Black. This one, however, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's the yellow, honestly. It's the yellow, this like green, baby puke green and the cloth as well. Other than that, like the blue on the plate armor looks really, really cool. But yeah, that's the only cool thing I can really say about that. And then new monarchy regalia. I love this shader. It's super, super dope. This is the Iron Man shader. So if you are looking to recreate Iron Man in Destiny 2, you're definitely going to want to pick up the shader. But other than that, yeah, definitely pick up the shader. We have the armor, which is the Errant Knight 1.0. So that's for the hunters. This is going to be the knightly armor. I'm going to be real with you guys for the hunters. I'm going to say everything but the cloak and the helmet are definitely worth a pickup just because they're really cool. And I say cloak because the cloak, unfortunately, has this really weird like floating aspect to it, at least on the, the like the neck guard or the, or the neck scarf. Yeah, it's really bad. Uh, other than that, everything else is super dope except the helmet. Uh, I mean, to be fair that you can use the helmet. I just feel like it's kind of boring. Titans, I think the helmet, the man, the helmet, chest piece, boots, and even the arms to a certain extent can be used really well. Um, other than that, yeah, um, other than that, the mark is kind of like the most boring piece from the whole set, but I definitely think a lot of the, like everything but the mark is definitely usable. And then Warlocks, I think the chest piece is super, super good. The arms are really cool as well, just because the, the, what is it? The pointer finger, the middle finger, and the thumb have this really cool like metal plating, which looks really cool with it. Um, the boots are kind of boring and the bond is kind of boring. Other than that, the helmet, chest piece, and arms are really, really cool. So I definitely recommend some of these pieces to be picked up. I always say if you have enough of uh, legendary shards, definitely pick all of them up because it's better to need it and not have it than to need it and not have it. Did I say that correctly? It's better to need it no, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty much my saying. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, be safe, and I will see you guys later.